CL is garbage, that means we're making money. Garbage equals money. Full parking lot equals money. Every time I think we're doing really good at the laundromat with a lot of uh, fixes, someone takes a dump on our parade. Jump to 8 minutes 30 seconds for the full video. We had to uh, change out the HDMI cable we had up here. We bought a 100 foot cable for the DVRs and apparently the DVR doesn't support uh, outputting the video source file that far. We tried putting a repeater in the line, didn't work. So we ended up uh, just doing it 50 feet. So we got the 100 foot cord, took that out, put a 50 foot cord in, and now it's good to go. Um, our plan for this is we're gonna have one, we're gonna have four cameras on here. We're gonna change it up the, the view style. One is gonna be the view of somebody walking in. So when they walk in, they know they're being recorded. Um, another one's gonna be the parking lot. That way they can check in their car if they hear you know something outside, they just know their cars are safe. Uh, and then the other two is gonna be the laundromat from different angles. That way you can see if anybody's hiding behind the machines. That when they walk in here, they feel safe and uh, know everything's good to go. After about three different light bulbs that I bought for this thing, I finally ordered the right one online. This is a 30 inch bulb, it's not very common. I couldn't find it at Depot or Lowe's. But I got this going. It kind of looks weird if you look back at it. Um, the, the top is very bright. I would almost think there should be a bulb down here um, or on the sides or something, just because it gets darker as you go lower. But it's nice and bright now. Uh, we made some good sales, so we. Uh, Ended out Friday, today is Monday, and uh, did about 15 bucks in sales and candy, and about 15 bucks in pop, so that's a good start, considering it was from zero. Um, but uh, I don't know if I like how this is, I might install another light bulb. Um, looks like just plug and play, so I can do a light bulb on the side or on the bottom uh, to make it look better. A uh, continuation of the HVAC, um, they put these ceiling diffusers in, if you look at them, these ceiling tiles are uh, kind of junk. Even the edges over here, you know, are all messed up. Like I can't leave that. It looks look, the place looks junky. So we bought two by two, uh, two foot by two foot diffusers. It'll sit right in there and fit flush with our new ceiling tiles. We'll show that to you in a second. And that's the way to do it. That's pro. Here's our two foot by two foot diffuser. We ordered this online. Even a little bent, but. Um, it's going to work for what we need. Uh, these are about 30 bucks, and they drop right in the ceiling tiles and uh, they hook up to the flexible tubing they have over the top of the, the ceiling and uh, it's going to be a lot nicer than uh, what's up there right now. Uh, you always want music in the laundromat, it makes it uh, feel more welcoming and uh, peaceful. We use these uh, drop-in uh, speakers from the ceiling, so all we do is uh, cut out a hole in the ceiling tile, drop these in, lock these in, wire these over to our radio, and uh, we'll have some tunes in there. Now, our chain machine, soap machine is over there in the corner. Uh, we're planning on bringing more dryers out. You can kind of see over here where these had dryers from over all the way probably about right here. So our thought was we'll add some more dryers here and we'll move the chain machine and soap machine onto this wall right here where that yellow uh, square is. Um, you know, we put the soap machine, chain machine right here, take the store out, wall that up. Then, uh, you know, you got a clear view from outside of the, the chain machine, clear view of the soap machine, it's not tucked in the corner right there. Um, that way everybody in the street can see it. And it's on a uh, wall that we can get behind to in our workstation. So that's our plan right now for that. Our initial plan was to get five top loaders in right away. Um, that way um, we, have, we know the machines at work. So those are coming on Thursday, so we're probably going to install those on Friday. Today's Monday. So we'll have five uh, new top loaders, and uh, we'll put them right in a row. They'll be looking nice, and uh, probably going to price them about $2 each. 
right now the price is $1.75, so it'll go up a little bit in the price. And uh, over the last weekend, we had a lot of problems with the dryers. So there's only three dryers wor that work out of 21, and it seems like everyone has to wait for dryers. So if someone's drying, you know, the next guy's like, I got, you know, they're calling next, like they're at like a basketball court. I got a next game. They're like, I got next dryer. So they're just waiting in line to use the dryers. So that's one of our next priorities. Um, but ordering dryers from the distributor takes a while. So we're going to either have to try to fix some of the dryers we have, buy some used machines. Um, you know, those are probably the, the two best options or just uh, buy some new machines. But those take six to eight weeks from the distributor to come in from the factory. So those are our three options for the dryers. But we're gonna have the, the new top loaders working right away. And we're going to uh, work on getting the big uh, front loaders in too, so. Okay, we picked up the quarters from the weekend. Filled up this big jug. I bring it back up. Uh, we got the scale going. Let's see uh, how much we got for the weekend. Wow, that's not a bad weekend at all. 323.75 just for the weekend. And we only have a couple of uh, washers and dryers at work. We've been working to get the ceiling tiles replaced. That's kind of an expensive project for a box of 10 ceiling tiles from Home Depot. Um, you're looking at 50 bucks plus tax, so $54 um, just for 10 tiles. We have about 170 total tiles. Um, so we're probably just gonna batch upgrade the tiles. There's a lot of tiles that are currently like in bad shape. Um, they had the fiberglass tiles that are peeling ended up painting the, the rails and then they got fiberglass so you try to take the tile down the, the tile rips so we're changing those out with uh, just the regular uh, ceiling tiles um, it's gonna be a, a kind of a project just because taking down 160 ceiling tiles and putting up new ones um, kind of takes a lot of time so that's kind of what we're working on I'll show you some shots in a second of the ceiling but we got the, the radio uh, the speakers up in the ceiling we got a couple up there that would start getting music pumped in there and uh, we're starting to uh, change out the ceiling tiles and make the place look a lot better. All right, we're building the wall. This is going to be the, we're going to have a door for behind the dryers. Um, we're going to probably move the change machines over here. Um, I'll show you a video of the inside the laundromat where we think it's going to be a better spot. But we're going to have this wall then. We're going to have just some goofy uh, wall up here uh, over all these wires and all the uh, things. That way, the air behind the dryers is different than the air out here. We don't want the air going to the dryers from our heated air or our AC air. We want it to be uh, from outside air. That way, the makeup air is coming directly from outside. So we'll have this all insulated, and uh, it's be a different uh, like temperature back here <coughs> than out in the laundromat. So we're gonna get uh, we got five new machines coming on Friday. Like I said, uh, we're gonna put them all right here. We're gonna take these two ones that work. Move them over to the other bank, that way we have five Neptunes that work. So we'll have five brand new Matex right here, five Neptunes that work right there, and then we'll have to figure out about our other uh, top loaders as well.
That's a wrap for this video. We'll catch you next video. Thanks a lot for watching till the end.